What is it like? What is it a? Does it feel like a plastic or a tarp? What? It's a it's a PVC membrane, a polyvinyl chloride. There's not too many buildings that the roof starts up there and actually ends in the ground. There's no equipment made for people to work on that float. It's an unsung architectural marvel right in our own backyard, and now it's shiny and new. After decades quietly protecting one of Canada's most valuable aviation collections, the roof atop the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum has been replaced. And while you might be tempted to drive by without even batting an eyelash, it turns out this roof doesn't just protect history, it's a part of it. Construction of the iconic Hamilton landmark started in 1993 with the 150,000 square foot roof going on in 95. Not quite as big as the 180,000 square feet of Calgary's Saddle Dome, but not that far off either. At the time, the roof was believed to be the largest project of its kind in Canada, and even today was the largest project of its kind underway in Ontario. The $1.3 million endeavor divvied up between two companies, telling us aside from the extreme curvature of the building, the challenges posed by the location itself were formidable. This location is always windy. So these membranes that you see on the roof, when you're putting them down, the wind comes up and tries to blow it away. So you get a piece of rubber going on the runway, you get sucked into a, an engine and takes out a, you know, I don't know, a $10 million engine, you're in trouble. On top of protecting the aircraft coming and going from Hamilton International, this roof must reliably shield the treasures below. A collection of about 45 vintage military airplanes, 20 of them in flying condition including the Crown Jewel, one of only two Lancaster bombers still flying in the world today. We have uh, airplanes uh, that they're all 75 plus years old. We have airplanes that flew on D-Day over the beaches of Normandy. And so those assets uh, are very precious assets, they're replaceable. You've, you've walked, you've walked on this thing. Oh yes. Meanwhile, Brad Smith was on the crew with boots in the sky for the duration of the project. He was also a part of the installation of the original roof nearly three decades ago. He was good enough to let us strap a camera to his head, collecting this footage from up top. Uh, it was all secured at the top, laid down, stretched, uh, mechanically uh, fastened at the seams uh, to hold it in place. And then all the uh, seams were uh, thermal fused together to give it a waterproof seal. Smith telling me that I will likely be retired by the time this roof needs replacement. It should get uh, 30 years, 40 years, no problem. At the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum in Hamilton, David Zura, City News.